And here we go on the Hey Mary Kay edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Our Football Insider subscriber sending us questions. We'll get through as many as we can. And of course, we got to start with a question about Baker Mayfield and the Carolina Panthers. This one comes from Glenn in Raleigh. Hey Mary Kay, Glenn lives in North Carolina and follows the Panthers as his second team. He can definitely see Baker reviving his career in Carolina. And due to the Browns' lack of success historically in openers, it's not unreasonable to think they might lose to the Panthers in the opener. So here are the questions. I'll say it again. Hey, Mary Kay. How devastating is it going to be for the organization if they lose to Carolina with Baker quarterbacking the other side? Oh, my goodness. That would be (laughs) about the worst possible way that you could start this very controversial and stressful season is by losing to Baker Mayfield. My goodness. I mean, you could not uh, draw up anything more dramatic than that. So, of course, Baker starting this game adds so much drama to it. Uh, The whole Deshaun Watson situation, Jacoby Brissett going in there and and trying to beat Baker Mayfield. Uh, Yeah, that would be bad because the Browns need to get off to a really, really good start. Uh, They need to really win those very winnable games in the first four before they head into sort of the gauntlet of the season. Yeah, I think devastating is probably too strong of a word. That's what Glenn used. But like, you know what you don't want to do if you're the Browns is spend a week listening to people talk about you losing to Baker Mayfield. Like it doesn't, torpedo your season or end your season or anything but kind of twofold you've got to listen to that and also you just lost one of those games you're supposed to win early in the year yes absolutely there would be so many layers to this and you know that baker mayfield is just going to be out of his mind for this game i mean he is going to be so fired up for this game uh he really knows how to use being snubbed and and being disrespected as a motivational tool for himself. Uh, So the Browns had better hope that they can match that intensity. Uh, They're going to need somebody to bring it on that defense. And when we talked to Miles Garrett about this last week, he was like, no, you know, I I don't want, uh, you know, to beat him any more than I do anybody else. Well, hopefully for the Browns and for that defense, that's just rhetoric but that is just talk uh because he needs to be as ticked off at baker mayfield as baker is going to be for the cleveland browns and he's going to need to want to get there in a hurry and to completely wreak havoc on baker mayfield yeah i think it's i think a lot of that is just kind of kevin sending out the signal like don't take the bait on this stuff publicly like we don't need anything out there any trash talk about baker we don't need anything to get him even more motivated than he's going to be you know we don't need to play that game but i'm i'm almost certain that it's going to be a topic in that building for but just between players in the locker room but also like we know kevin knows how to motivate this team i keep thinking about that cincinnati game last year after all the odell stuff they turned around and played their best game of the year. They never played another game like that. And it it just kind of shows me like Kevin seems to know how to get these guys going and and kind of use things to motivate these guys. So I'm sure Baker is going to be a very big topic of discussion inside that building, but Kevin's probably going to do as much as he can to make sure it stays inside that building. Yeah. And, you know, he might also rely on the players to kind of get themselves going too. just, Uh, maybe reminding them of certain things. Maybe he could even do that a little bit individually here and there. Uh, Different coaches have different ways of going about that, but he'll use, yes, he'll use anything he can to get these guys ready for a football game. And, you know, it's just weird when you would normally think about the Carolina Panthers playing the Cleveland Browns on September 11th in an opener, that would be sort of a meh kind of a game, right? (laughs) But it is... uh, this one has as much tr- intrigue as any opener that the Browns have played in years. Yeah, I mean, the NFL knew what it was doing.